This AAA tutorial will cover fuselage geometry input from CAD. Our objective here will be to learn to input fuselage geometry into AAA by obtaining fuselage splines from CAD, preparing the AAA body geometry import file in Excel, and importing the AAA body geometry import file into AAA. Step 1 will be to obtain the fuselage splines from NXCAD. So let's open up NX. And what AAA is going to want is five splines that define the fuselage. And those will be a top spline, a bottom spline, a top shoulder, a bottom shoulder, and a side spline. So first we're going to obtain the top and the bottom splines. What we're going to do is create a sketch and draw a line above the fuselage, right down the center line. And we're going to use the Project Curve tool. And select our line here. We're going to go ahead and select the entire fuselage surface and select our vector. We're going to project it straight down on top of the fuselage. And as you can see, that gives us a spline on the top and a spline on the bottom. So let's hide this line, hide our fuselage, and you can see the top and the bottom splines here. And then our next step is going to be to draw a center spline. And that will go from the nose to the tail of the airplane. And note that this spline should, as close as possible, represent the outermost width of the fuselage. So I'm going to draw some straight lines here. in the more symmetrical parts of the fuselage. And now I'm going to connect them with a spline. What I'm doing here is making each of the endpoints of the spline tangent to these straight lines. And this is important to get a nice continuous curve. And if they get all wonky like that, just reverse the direction and that will usually solve the issue. And now to get the side spline, we're going to simply project this center spline onto the side of the fuselage. So let's show the fuselage. We've got our spline selected. Now we'll select the faces on the side of the fuselage. And again, select our direction. Make sure it's facing the right way. And now you can see the side spline here sitting on the fuselage surface. Let's hide the fuselage again to get a better look. And you can start seeing the three-dimensional shape of the fuselage forming. And next we want to obtain the shoulder splines, but first we must create apex curves using the combined projections tool. 
So we're going to combine first to get the top shoulder apex curve, the side spline, and the top spline. And we're going to do this here in sections since it won't let us do it all as one probably because there's some broken segments of the spline. But that's no problem. We'll just do it in sections and finish it up really quick here. Looks like we have one little missing segment, but I think we can find it on the side spline. Yep, there we go. All right, now we have our top shoulder apex curve created. You can see it there. Our next step is to use the through curves tool and we're going to create a surface from the center spline to the top shoulder apex curve that we just created. So start here. Again, if it gets wonky like that, hit the reverse button and that'll usually straighten the surface out. Do the back here. Move on to the front. And get the nose and be sure to select that little curve segment that we noticed in the last step. All right, now we have our completed through curve surface. And we'll use this to obtain the top shoulder spline here in the next step. And what we're going to do is show the fuselage because we're going to use the intersection curve tool to create a curve where the fuselage surface and the surface that we just created intersect each other. So we'll select the apex curve surface that we just created and select our fuselage surfaces. And now we have our top shoulder spline created. So I'm going to hide these combined projections and through curves because we don't need them anymore. And now you can see the top shoulder spline. And it looks like it's following the contours of the fuselage nicely. And now we're going to repeat the same step that we did for the top shoulder spline to get the bottom shoulder spline. So we'll fast forward. And you can see that we have a very nice looking fuselage shape. So we'll hide the center spline because AAA doesn't need that, leaving only our five splines, top, bottom, side, top shoulder, and bottom shoulder. We're going to export this as a step file so that we can import it into Shark and get the points that we need for these splines to input them into AAA. In step two, we'll export the spline coordinates from SharkCAD Pro AP. So let's open SharkCAD Pro AP.
import our stub file. And there you can see the five splines that we just obtained from CAD. And we're going to use the very useful export curve tool from Aeropack. Hold shift so you can select multiple line segments, let go, and that'll prompt you to save the spline coordinates in a .spl file. And so we'll repeat this step for all five splines. Now that we have the coordinate files for all five splines, step three will be to download the AAA body geometry import file from the Dark Corporation website. So let's visit the AAA import files webpage. We'll type www.darkcorp.com into the browser, go to software, AAA, AAA import files. To download the AAA body geometry import file, we'll simply click the link and open it in Excel. Step four will be to prepare the spine coordinates in the AAA body geometry import file. Let's open the file in Excel. The file will open up in the Instructions tab. Please take a moment to read the instructions to learn how this file works. To begin preparing our spline coordinates, we will open up a blank sheet. Then, we will open up the top spline.spl file in a text editor. We will then highlight the coordinates, copy them, and paste them into our blank Excel sheet. Now, we want to make sure that the coordinates are a continuous range of data and are ordered correctly. So we will delete any headings and spaces that separate the coordinates, and then we will sort the data by the x-coordinate. At this point, we can copy the coordinates and paste them into the appropriate section in the Input Data tab. Once we have all the spline coordinates input into the input data tab, we will input the x and z apex coordinates of the fuselage. These should match the apex coordinates that we set in our AAA model in the following step. The curve data tab requires no user input. It automatically outputs our input tab data into the required format for AAA. We can see that each spline is equally divided into 90 fuselage stations. 90 is the maximum that AAA can import and will lead to the most accurate model. Finally, we can go to the AAA Import tab and see the populated import table. At this point, all we need to do is save the spreadsheet and it is ready to be imported directly into AAA. In step 5, we will import the coordinates into Advanced Aircraft Analysis. So let's launch AAA. Go to the Fuselage Geometry module. Here you'll want to input all of your fuselage inputs. Make sure the fuselage stations is at 90 or whatever number that you created in the import file. Make sure your units are correct. You can change them in here in the work pad. We're inches so we're good. Now we're going to import our import file. Hit calculate. Now we can hit plot to view our fuselage shape. And it looks pretty good. We can also see it in the three view for a double check. Again, looks good from all three views. Now we can even take it a step further and export it to Aeropack as a three-dimensional model. So we can really get a good feel for how accurate our model is. We're going to use the 
import airplane tool to import our .geo file from AAA. There it is. We can orbit around it to check for any discontinuities. Everything is looking smooth. It looks like an airplane, so I think we've done well. We hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions or tutorial requests, then please contact us through our website. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then please like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive updates on the latest AAA tutorials. Thank you.